hey everyone welcome to a new video in this video we will see how to use clip drop ai so for that you have to go to the browser and search for clip drop ai once you search for it this is the first link that you will find just simply click onto it and then you will get here now here you could see if you are not logged in then you have to log in and if you want to create an account just simply click on sign up and you can register yourself on this platform so here we have different ways through which you could register yourself through your email facebook google or by apple so you can go with any one of these options whatever you prefer the most once you're done it will gather some of the important data from your account and after that it will create your account on this website now it's time to explore and use this app so here at the top we have some of the options but if you scroll down there you will see multiple tools so this first one is stable diffuser here if you give a prompt to it it will create some of the images for it in this second uncrop if you give a small image it will create surroundings of it for you in redesign it if you give an image to it it will create similar images to it and in this table doodle you just have to use your pencil and it will create images for you like here from doodle it just created an owl and here cleaning you can remove some of the things from an image and here you can just simply remove the background from any image in relight you can add light effects on your face from different angles and along with that we have this image upscaler where it will smoothen and cleans the images here you can replace the background of your images and with the second last option you can remove text from an image and here you can change the color of the sky so there we have multiple things available that you can use these all will be very helpful so let's go with cleanup first you have to upload a picture here here we will remove this guy from this image therefore we have to do some settings like we have to minimize the size of brush and then you just have to paint that man you have to paint that man so that this man could be removed from this image and we only get with building once you click on clean it will just take a while to load so that it could remove that person from this images and then we will left with only building here it just removed that person but there's something unclean so I'm using the brush once again and clicking on clean again it will just take a while and here you can see we are just left with building you can also download this image now it's time to explore other features so just get back and scroll down so here we have this one which says sky replacer just upload an image with sky after that you have to choose what kind of sky you want in the background of this image there are multiple options available you can choose whatever you like and then simply tap on generate now it will just take a while to load and after that this blue sky will be turned out into our desired sky you also have to verify if it asks for now it will just take a while to load and there you will see that we have this sky image with our desired sky you can see how smoothly it changed the background if you want to edit that you can do it from here otherwise you can just download it and it will be saved in your computer so this website is not totally free it has a pro version that you have to purchase and then you will be able to explore all the features if you go to the pricing there you will see different pricing setups that you could choose and you could enjoy all the features of these platforms you can also use the free version but it has some limited access to different features so now what we will do is that we will just get down and then just simply click on this most famous feature which is stable diffusion excel here you just have to give a prompt here and it will create an image according to it the prompt could be anything whatever you like here i'm giving a prompt like create Elon Musk in pink top and after that I will use a filter that will be helpful in creating better images first you can choose a style there are multiple options available I am going with photogenic and after that you can choose the ratio suspects 
there are multiple options available and here you can choose what you don't need in this picture like you can say two heads many fingers and bad quality so these things will not be included into this image after that once you're done just simply click on generate and it will create images for you like these ones that you could use anywhere you want so this is the best and most famous feature of this platform which is called stable diffusion xl other features are also great but this one is the most useful one so that's how you could use this clip drop ai there are a lot of different options available you can explore them and in case if you purchase its pro version you will be able to get all these features so this was all about how to use clipdrop.ai hope you found this video interesting and helpful make sure to subscribe the youtube channel for more informative videos and updates and thank you for watching the video